All right, I think we're rolling. Welcome, everyone, to the Christian and Cowboy podcast. Uh, Cowboy joins us, as always. Uh, excuse my squinting. It's very bright outside. Uh, Cowboy, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing okay. The, the, the murder that took place in PBA today. Ah, <sighs> good old Bruce Pearl. Yep, Pearl was napalmed. Three seasons in a row. The only, only place that could happen is Murphy's Law University, otherwise known as University of Tennessee. Murphy's Law University? Yeah, you never heard of Murphy's Law? No. What could go wrong will go wrong. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and I saw on Twitter someone was saying, like, knowing us, we'll probably win, like, two or three in the SEC tournament. Then we'll probably have to play Auburn on Saturday, and they'll beat us, like, by, like, 30. Then they're gonna get to the X. Now we got Kentucky in the second round. If we win the first yeah. one, don't we? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure yeah. we're that eight nine game either way. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't. We're, we're either gonna play Bama. I saw it earlier. I think we either play like Bama or uh, Arkansas. I mean, the fact is, this is not a tournament team. It hadn't been all year, especially since Turner went out. It's just been a game or two away. I mean, it sounds like. I mean, you know, think about that Texas A&M game that they lost. You win that, maybe this looks different. If you win that South Carolina game, if you beat, if you don't get beat by Georgia by 90, who's the, one of the worst teams in the conference. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just a, a decent, hard-working team. It just lacks about a player or two from being really good. Yeah, I mean, you think about it. What do you think this team would have – I mean, I know this is kind of just a what-if game, but how bad, do you, how good or bad do you think this team would have been with Grant and Bone? Oh, God. I mean, they could probably would have won the league. It's not a good league. Yeah, it really um, isn't. Um, you got you got folks in, in your back pocket that you didn't know he was going to be as good of a player. He would have been even better with Grant playing down there. Mm-hmm. You got Bone. Taking a lot of pressure off of Bowden. Bowden would have had a lot better season. Yeah. Than what he had. Bowden, Bowden's a complimentary player, and, and he just didn't handle it well being the main guy this year. It just didn't it didn't fit him. And, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, this draft is so bad, they say, that you wonder if Grant and Bone both wouldn't have been better off to wait a year. But Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be Bama or Arkansas, either way. Yeah. But, yeah. Tennessee has the head-to-head tiebreaker on Bama for the eighth seed, loses the tiebreaker to A&M for seventh, so we're going to be 8-9 game either way. So that, so we, we'll be playing at noon on Thursday. But I'll st- I'll, I will still get to watch it because we have a half-day Thursday. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, not that it really matters, but – and if our girls win tonight, we get out of school Wednesday because we get to go to it. They bring the whole school. Like, the whole school gets to go. To say what is it, the Substate game? Yeah, the Substate game's tonight. And if we win and go to state, uh, their first the qu- quarterfinals are Wednesday. So if, uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, that would be cool. They bring, like, the whole school is what they, they've been telling us if we – and then the boys' tournament's next week. Or the, the boys' tournament won't be ne- – the girls' tournament will be this upcoming week, and the boys' tournament will be the next week. Right. So. When's, um, the, boys sets, when's the boys' sets that game? Monday. Monday night. Okay. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, Barnes said if Tennessee's uh, given an NIT invitation – that he'll accept it. He was like, "Yeah, no doubt. We'll we'll definitely want to do that." So, hopefully, we don't have a home game, or hopefully we do. I don't really care either way. I'm not gonna. Right. Wa- I, I mean, I guess I'll watch it. I'm not gonna care if we win or not. But they'll get a they'll get a home game. They'll be they'll be 10, 11, 12,000 people there. You wait. You wait and see. That's the. That's the. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it's maybe they can win that tournament. I would, it wouldn't. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but heck, that'd be a pretty good accomplishment for this team, if you ask me. Well, another thing is, I I I was looking at some scenarios, and even if 
you had beaten Auburn today, you still wouldn't have had your best path in the SEC tournament because you needed uh, Kentucky to beat Florida. That didn't happen. You did not You did have Missouri beat Alabama. You didn't need that to happen. And then you needed Arkansas to beat A&M. That game's going on right now. I don't know what the score is. But if if all that had happened, you would have had – Florida as the two seed, and you would you would have been the seven seed playing Bama on Tuesday night, Florida or Kentucky Thursday night. Play? No, they lost. They lost. Oh, okay. I'm okay. saying we we would have we needed Florida to beat Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pr- pr- pretty. The biggest, the biggest one was this Arkansas and A and M, but it doesn't. None of it matters now. I mean, it just doesn't. Yeah. This. Yeah, it's over. It's I mean, they, it's over. They, just, they can't beat Auburn. I, I mean, people got to face facts. Auburn's a better program than we are right now. They made the Final Four. They're just about as good this year. They beat us three years in a row with a lot on the line. And so Barnes has got to figure that out. Over that time, they've been 5-3 and three against Kentucky. Who, Tennessee? Tennessee has been. Yeah. yeah. What, what is Auburn? I couldn't tell you. I mean, I know that they, I know they beat Kentucky in the Elite Eight last year, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I still can't believe that happened. How did that happen? Man, I just th- this has just been one of the most frustrating teams I've ever had to watch in my life. Yeah, it is. I know what you're saying. They they go on. They they do what they do. Tuesday, they did Tuesday night. They give you they give you a, a sample size of what they could become, and then they just. <clears throat> Today at home, they just. Yeah. I mean, this I this is a game you definitely could have won. It's one. I'm not gonna say you should have won it. And the idiots that are blaming this game on the refs are not very intelligent. This game was a, just dominated by Auburn from start to finish. The world is doing that. Yeah, I've seen a couple people. They lost by 21. I mean, exactly. I mean, it wasn't perfect officiating, but it's never gonna be. We shot more free throws than they did. Exactly. You still lost by 21. Yeah. But what does that tell you? I mean, the difference in the game is they hit 14 threes and we hit eight. It was looking. That's 18 points right Some there. of those threes, I got so many flashbacks to the SEC championship game last year. Yeah. I mean, it, it was basically the same thing, honestly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I saw a, a tweet that said, if you had to bet $100 right now, would you rather bet on Tennessee being a one on one and done in the NIT or winning the NIT? Uh, I'd bet on one and done before I'd bet on winning it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know who we're going to draw. I don't know what kind of seed we'll get. If we're like a – it's – if we're like a four seed, we'd probably play like Syracuse or someone like that, or like UConn. But that would be that would be cool. But if you know, what would be bad is if ETSU gets beat and I get to have to play them. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah, I yeah. I hope if ETSU gets beat, that uh, they make the tournament anyway, which they probably think, won't. Though. I don't think they're going to. Yeah, I don't think they will either. Uh, which is stupid, but they uh, who they beat today? VMI, right? I don't know. I'm That's pretty. They, they they beat VMI today. I know that. I, all I, I know, know today they, is that all they know is that they won. I don't. Who do they play on? Uh, at, let's see who they play on. Yeah, I don't know. When's their championship game? Like at Tuesday? When? No, when? Probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that was a quarterfinal today. Yeah. I thought that was a semi game. Okay, never mind. So yeah, that was the quarterfinal. So it'll be Monday. So it'll be Monday. Yeah. So they tomorrow they've got Western Carolina, and then Monday night, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's Monday. So they got Western Carolina in the semis tomorrow. Obviously, got to win that. So, what seed do you think they're gonna get if they do get in? Twelve. Twelve. My prediction, which ain't a bad place to be. Really. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally, I think they should be an eleven, but I'd say they'll probably get a twelve. Well, um, it's fine. That's better than fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, especially if you're playing a team like Butler or someone who you know you can for sure beat. Yeah. 
Yeah, he could. Yeah. Uh, I, I, in that bracket video I made uh, this morning, I, you were playing Auburn in the first round, which would not be good as an 11 seed. And even if you win that, you would have had to play Duke in the second round. So, yeah, I agree with you. A 12 seed is probably your better path, honestly. But it usually is. They usually have a lot of upsets out of the 12. Yeah. Uh, I guess, do, do we still think Fulkerson deserves an All-SEC? I don't know, son. I haven't. I just don't know enough about the league. I mean, I, I mean probably. He's, he's got to be second team at worst. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he's a lock for second team. I mean, I don't see how they couldn't at least give him second team. Shut up, Bird! Uh, but anyway, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he's a lock for first team though. Uh, he's a lock for second team, but first team is gonna be—it's gonna be tough. But I wouldn't be surprised if they give it to him though, personally. But it'll he be interesting. Good, to he see. had a great year. I mean, he, he was definitely the saving. I mean, Lord, Lord, where would they be without? So not only that, where would they be without Vescovi? We probably would have won like two conference games if it wasn't for Vescovi. Yeah, maybe. And uh, speaking of co winning conference games, Vandy on a two-game win streak. They, they beat, beat Bama. They beat somebody today. South Carolina. Yeah, Vandy, I think, will probably be pretty good next year. Vandy beat South Carolina at home today. So there goes another SEC team from the tournament. And Alabama loses at Missouri. There goes another SEC team out of the tournament. So, yeah, that's all we're only going to get. I think we're going to get five. I think it's going to be – well, I don't know who Mississippi State plays today or if they've played today. Anyway, I think we're going to get uh, Kentucky, Auburn, LSU, Florida, Mississippi State. That's going to be your five. Mississippi State, I don't know about them. I didn't – I hadn't looked at their resume. But. I'm pretty sure they're in the first four out right now, but I think if they had a good performance next week, which I think they, they'll probably have to play Ole Miss in the first round, so they won't have that bad of a road. Uh I, I think that the, if they have a good performance next week, they can play themselves into the tournament. Yeah. So, obviously the SEC is not what it was last year or the year before, but, you know, five teams, you can never complain about that. I remember a couple years ago. I remember a couple years ago when, yeah, you'd be lucky if you got three teams. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I'll be interested to see how Vandy is next year. Yeah, that's going to be – uh, I mean, obviously Stackhouse wasn't didn't have much to work with there, but uh, Saban Lee, well, man, they just they surely won't have the injury bug again. I mean, that's where it's been getting they getting killed. Yeah, uh, I don't know what year Saban Lee is, but knowing Vandy's luck, he'll he'll be the one that's out for the year next year. He's not a senior, surely is he? I'm not sure. Let me try to find it real quick. You can talk about something while I'm trying to find this or whatever. Uh. How your Preds looking? They've been on a little bit of a run here. Uh, well, they were, and then they lost three straight. But uh, and that was to the Avs, the Oilers, and who else was it? Canucks, maybe. I don't. Or the Wild. It was the Avs, Oilers, and Wild. We lost three straight to. And uh, now you got a win over the Stars on Thursday night at home, and then today you got a win at Dallas. And in both of those games, UC Soros, who is probably going to take over as the full-time starter next year if you ask me that's that's what i think is going to happen uh he might take over this year he pro basically has honestly he's had two straight shutouts two games against the stars in three days that's, two shutouts that's strong the stars are pretty good aren't they yeah they're just like second in the central that's what i thought let's see Saban lee is a he's a junior so he'll be back yeah yeah did you see how many points he had against Bama the other night? No. He had 38 against Bama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool to see the day after all those tornadoes hit the mid-state that Tennessee got a big win at Kentucky and then Vandy also won at Alabama. So that was pretty cool to see. But uh, speaking of teams in the mid-state, do you realize how bad MTSU is? No. They're like 7-23. No, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, it's something like that. They've 
this year they've lost the most games in program history that they've ever lost. They lost that coach, and I had just went downhill, had it? Yeah. They're pro- rumor around here is whatever, I don't know the coach's name they got right now, but rumor down here is the, they'll probably fire him and move on. How Next, many years has he been there? Two. Two uh, years, and they, they, I think last year they were like maybe a couple games better than this year. Where'd that catch go, Kermit Davis? Ole Miss? Ole Miss, yeah. 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 Which, he ain't doing much down there, is he? He made the tournament last year. He got blown out by Oklahoma. Hasn't uh, turned the I corner since I then. I not remember that. Yeah, they lost by Oklahoma to Oklahoma by like 40 in the tournament. And uh, wow. haven't really recovered since then. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, – well, one one good thing for Tennessee right now, at least, is the baseball team. Yes. You said that they were, like, had the eighth best odds to win the College World Series. They yep. lead the nation in home runs. Yep. Really and explosive that's, offense. That's what you got to have in that, in, in that game these days. But we'll see. They start hitting SEC schedule, and that's when it always goes apart for them. It's just a different animal going against that pitcher. Yeah, uh, they actually just lost their first game of the year against Wright State yesterday. Um, so I think they're like 14 and one right now. Last time I looked, they were winning one nothing in the seventh today. What are they ranked? 11th. Well, it depends on the polls. I've seen some polls that have them at like 15th, but the the one I the one I see the most is them at 11th. What's Vandy? Uh, I don't. The one I usually look at the most is Baseball America, so I'll go look at that one real quick. That's the main poll. Is Baseball America? Or, I look at the, that in D1 Baseball, both of that, both of those. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at – which one would you rather me look at? I don't care either way. Baseball America is the main poll. Baseball America, top 25. So this is from Monday. Vandy – Florida, Vandy's at three, and Tennessee is at 18. Vandy's at 18, really? No, Tennessee's at 18. Vandy's at three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Florida's number one, and Texas Tech number two, Georgia number four, UCLA number five. Pretty sure UCLA and Vandy played last night. I don't know who won that game, but... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, let's see, one, two, three, four, there's four SEC teams in the top ten, and, let's see, uh, six in the top 15, so almost, almost half the conference is in the top 15. Probably nine or ten or maybe even eleven in the top 25. Let's see here, six, six. Seven, eight, nine, nine teams in the top 25. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I mean, SEC dominates in football, but I don't think I've ever seen a conference dominate in one sport like I've ever like I've seen the SEC dominate in baseball the past few yeah, years. It's, it's even with way more than football, which is hard to believe. Yeah. It's more even. Yeah. It's not just, it's not just Bama and everybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of – Interested to see. I, I kind of am maybe thinking I might want to go to a baseball game when I'm down there for spring break. I mean, like a, tennis, a Tennessee game. Yeah. Well, look at their schedule. We can get one day, maybe. How, well, knowing our luck, that'll be the one one weekend or one week that they're just on a road trip. Uh, I think the Vandy series is like the week before I come up, unfortunately. Yeah. But. Yeah, that that'll be a good series, by the way. That that might end up being like a top fifteen series between Vandy and Tennessee. Yeah, it will be. So, yeah, uh, baseball's heating up. But uh, when's opening day for M- MLB? Let's see, like a month from now, I guess. Probably like I think it's three like weeks. March, usually like the twenty eighth or ninth, somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm excited for the Reds this year. Uh, I think. Uh, Cincinnati's been fa- like the favorites in the NL. I mean, everyone's pretty much saying the Central's up for grabs, but the the Reds are the team I've seen as the favorites the most, as like in these preseason previews and stuff like that. In that division. Yep, in the Central. Interesting. Yes. Hopefully, uh, Mike Mustakis can add something for the bats. 
Uh, you know, you got a lot of good pieces coming back. Derek Dietrich, who's probably – he's not surpassed Joey Votto as my favorite player, but he's close. Uh, yeah, I, I think the Reds have a lot of good pieces. And uh, Trevor Bauer, who obviously is a very controversial player, but uh, – He's still a good pitcher, so I don't really care what you say about him. Uh, he gets it done. Unless he, like, you remember that game last year where he uh, he threw that ball, like, over the fence from the mound? Yeah. Yeah, see, people were just focusing on the fact that, he, that that was an anger issue for him. I was just impressed that he threw it that far. <laughs> that was, dude, he freaking chucked that. No, I, you're right. That's a long way. You're exactly right. Not um, a lot of people can do that. Yeah. Uh, let's transition to golf for a little bit. What are your thoughts on Tiger skipping the players? He's got to be hurt. I agree. But people are downplaying it, but something's wrong. Yeah, something's wrong with him. I, I agree. Can't. Yeah. Uh, Arnold Palmer's this week, right? Yeah. Who's winning there? <laughs> give you a crazy stat. Matt Every was leading after the first day at seven over at seven under. Mm-hmm. He shot he shot eleven over yesterday to miss the cut. He was the first round leader. I saw Brooks shot at eighty one today. You are kidding? Nope. I'm a little bit worried about Kepka too. Yeah, Wait. Brooks shot at eighty one today. God, well, yeah, I didn't know that at all. Yep, he was nine over. I, I I looked at it. I was like, is that right? I couldn't believe it was like real. I was like, shoot, so a couple of my teammates from Blackman could maybe compete if he's if he was playing like that today. Lofton could have competed against him. That course is playing really hard right now. Rory's winning. Yeah. Um. Where's any? What's the rest of the top five? Uh, Tommy Hatton, that kid that won last week, Kang. Oh yeah. Those three are tied at five. Mark Leishman is four under. Somebody named Lee, David Lee at four under. That's your top five. So it's Rory and everybody else. Gotcha. Bunch of no names. Uh, anything else from the XFL? Or have you watched anything from the XFL? I hadn't watched any of that, honey. No, so that, well, the uh, the Houston Roughnecks, who who were 4-0 and coming into the day, uh, almost lost to the Seattle Dragons today, who were 1-3 and coming into the day. So the Roughnecks moved to 5-0 and on the season. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's their logo is awesome. You ought to look it up. It looks like the Oilers logo. Okay, I'll have to do that. Later. They got cool uniforms too. Yeah, yeah. they're five and zero. Uh, my team, the St. Louis Battlehawks, had a big game against the DC Defenders tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can win that one and improve the four and one on the year. What well, how come St. Louis is your team? Marquette King. Oh right. And technically, if you think about it, St. Louis is the closest team to us, geographically. Uh, well, yeah, probably. So that's certainly the national it is. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, obviously Dallas or any of those teams probably aren't. So, I guess to Kingsport, it might be D.C. No, oh, it, it is. D.C. is a lot closer. Yeah. I didn't even realize how close D.C. was to, to, to Kingsport until like a few – uh, months yeah, ago. It's not, it's not far at all. I'd like for us to take a trip up there next How year. How far is it driving? Only like five hours? It'd probably be about six. Really? Yeah. That's so still not bad. Out. How far was it from Kingsport to Atlanta when we went up there? Or went down there? Uh, that was like three, wasn't it? No, it's, it took longer, it takes longer than that. It's about five and a half. Yeah, it's probably like three from here. But um wonder how much SEC tournament tickets are going to be next week. Where oh, is that thing? It's here again. I'm I'm kind of interested to see how many Tennessee fans show up. And I mean, if you won today, I think that place would have been packed with Tennessee fans. But I'm interested to see how many Tennessee fans show up and – Especially if Tennessee beats Arkansas or Alabama on Thursday, how many Tennessee fans show up to the Kentucky game? I guess this will be the third straight year Tennessee plays Kentucky in the SEC tournament. We seem to be on a lot. Yeah. 
Well, uh, I guess this is the tiebreaker then. Because, uh, 2018 championship game, obviously we all know what happened there. 2019 semifinal, obviously we won it. So, I guess this is the tiebreaker and I have a prediction. Pain. Yes. I, I saw, uh, someone just liked a tweet I put out that said, I'm so freaking tired of losing to, uh, Bruce Pearl. I thought it, it said Chris something. I thought it said Chris Lofton. I was like, what the crap? Chris Lofton just liked my tweet. I, I, I got so excited. But it just said, like, Chris someone else. I couldn't tell who it was, though. The sunlight's too much. <sighs> Anything else you want to talk about? Or should we just make this kind of a short episode? We can just make it a short one unless you got some NBA stuff. You know, I don't know anything about that. Well, uh, there was a big matchup last night. Uh, the Bucks and the Lakers played last night. Lakers got the 10-point win in L.A. Giannis really, I mean, he had like 32 points and 12 rebounds, and somehow that loss is still going to get blamed on him. But that's just the business it is, in my opinion. Uh, you know, when you're the star player, you're try you got to win. You got to find a way to win games like that, and you got to find a way to will your team to win games like that. Uh, yeah, the Bucks are still first in the East. The Lakers are still first in the West. But yeah, it was a pretty pretty enjoyable game. Uh, AD and LeBron both balled last night. AD specifically, he was. Uh, Giannis was on them both at different points in the game, and I'm not gonna say they bullied him, but it wasn't. There wasn't much Giannis could do. So I mean, he ain't gonna win every game. I, I heard that today. That was a big loss. I don't. I don't think it is. I mean. Well, people probably said it was a big loss just because of the style of it. I mean, it wasn't a bit. It wasn't a big loss, maybe by the score. But if you sat down and watched that game, like this is the first NBA game we've watched all year. If you sat down and watched that game, you'd probably say the Lakers are much better than the Bucks. That's probably what you would have said. Right. But uh, I guess that's probably why people said that. Uh, unfortunate news for my Grizzlies last night is they lost to the they lost to the Mavericks uh, literally by forty last night. Uh, Luca outduels John Morant. Really, it wasn't even that. I think it, may, it might have been 30. I don't remember. Either way, the Grizzlies are probably the most inconsistent team in the NBA. One night, they'll blow out the Lakers like they did last Saturday, and then one night, they'll get blown out by the Mavericks like they did last night. So, it's just... It's called their, it's called their you know, it's, it's how it's going to be. For a little bit, yeah. I, I think the future's good for the Grizzlies, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're going to be a, they're going to be compete. Yeah. He's a great player, man. I told you that last year when I watched him in college. I, said, I, I swear. I don't know if this is true, but I I, I got a feeling he's going to end up being more entitled than the Williamson is. You Most think so? Because he's going to stay healthier. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, Williamson's been having a good, good year, but uh, most people are still saying Moran will probably win rookie of the year, though. I would think so. Yeah. Mostly because we missed all the games. It wouldn't seem fair to give it to him. Yeah. Uh, last minute prediction. This is going to be the last thing I ask you, and then we'll close it out. Uh, give me uh, your SEC championship prediction. I'll take Kentucky. Over. I didn't see the bracket. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. But you'll take. <sighs> I'll take Kentucky over. I'll take Kentucky over Auburn. I'll take Kentucky over Auburn, too, as much as I hate to say it. That's going to be very boring. But, uh, yeah, it's probably what's going to end up happening. Once I get the bracket, I'll make a prediction video once the bracket gets set in stone tonight after all the games are over. Uh, I'll make a prediction video. Uh, I'm going to be predi doing prediction videos for all six power conferences. So be looking forward to that. But, uh, Cowboy, anything else you want to say before we get out of here? No, no, I enjoyed it, son. I appreciate you letting me tag along today. Yeah. Uh, hey, NIT, how you doing? Let's go. NIT champs. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video as uh, we discussed that Tennessee is going to the NIT. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you again later. See ya.